This is an introduction to the CUR decomposition, which is a so it's another data interpretation friendly decomposition where you separate A into a product of three matrices C, U, and R, where C is a selection of the columns uh, of A and R, as in rows, selection of the rows of A. Typically, this matrix the matrices are of these dimensions. The method we will learn. Uh, to compute the CUR decomposition is based on first determining C and R and then determining U. And uh, to select C and, C and R is very easy if you know the ID. So we're going to determine it directly from the double sided ID. So select C and R uh, using ID and in particular double sided ID. So we have that A is equal to X A. I S J S and Y. And now what we, the, the method is based on just setting uh, the C matrix is equal to A and uh, colon J and R is equal to uh, A uh, I S colon. So we set R and S in this way. Okay, now we have uh, uh, R, C and R. So we need to compute uh, uh, compute U, uh, which can be done in, in two ways. So either you compute uh, by just looking at, okay, so now we know C and R, U is the only unknown, so we want this equality to hold. Let's just define U as uh, the minimizer uh, of, this, of the difference between the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And uh, so we minimize, we try to find the U that minimizes this. Uh, so note here that this is a large matrix. So in general, this will be very expensive. Um, if you use the Frobenius norm, you can uh, write down the solution quite uh, easily as a least squares, standard least squares problem. So you can in principle solve it, but it's a large problem. So there's another uh, way to compute U, which is, uh, 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 is based on the way we compute uh, the C and R. So remember that we uh, we uh, we have that so that from the fact that the double sided id is computed from the uh, from the standard id we have that a is approximately equal to c z for some z matrix so that's the first step in the in the computation of the double sided id so instead now of approximating uh, directly uh, we have we can approximate, uh, so we will approximate Z approximately equal to uh, U uh, and R. So if we, we have, so R is given, so we try to find U, and if we have Z is approximately equal to U R, then, well, obviously we have that A is approximately equal to C U R. So instead of trying to minimize A, th this difference, we can minimize this difference. So we can define U uh, as the minimizer of Z minus U R U so and Frobenius norm. Note that this now is a smaller matrix. So this is cheaper but uh, can be less accurate. 